Eh, es un gusto presentarme, soy Carolina Gijón, eh, presidenta ejecutiva del Jardín Botánico de Quito. Eh, bueno, el Jardín Botánico eh, postula a Patrick Blanc, pues consideramos que es uno de los botánicos más eh, renombrados, no solo a nivel europeo, sino eh, mundial. Y, y un tema que cabe resaltar es que es el inventor, nada menos y nada más, de los jardines verticales. Espacios verdes que han ido eh, eh, retomando gran relevancia, pues en muchas ciudades ya no existen espacios para jardines horizontales. ¿no? Eh, Patrick Blanc, yo diría que eh, debe ser eh, eh, postulado pues no solo representa el, el crear estos jardines desde el punto de vista estético, sino también desde el eh, ámbito de la biodiversidad. Muchos de sus espacios eh, creados por él cuentan con más de 350 especies, es decir, sus jardines verticales rinden un tributo, un homenaje a la biodiversidad del planeta como también de, las, de los sitios de influencia que tienen sus jardines botánicos. Muchos de ellos en grandes ciudades están construidos con 100, 200 especies nativas. So, uh, actually, I'm a, I'm a botanist, and uh, why I'm a botanist? Because uh, I love plants since I'm a very young boy, long time ago. Well, before that, when I was a teenager, about 13 or 14, I did already began to try to do what I did see in the Bois de Boulogne near Paris. I mean, this relation between plants vertical structure and water. So I had an aquarium because I did love fish and I did try to put a structure above the aquarium with the water recycling from the aquarium going up through a hose and falling back again in the aquarium. So at the beginning it was permanent flowing and in this case the problem is that many algae were growing on the surface of the medium And step by step, I did understand that water had to be, to be given sometimes. I did, in this way, begin my vertical garden. And then many friends uh, came when I was a little bit older, when I was 20, 22, something like that. When they came at home, they said, oh, this is very interesting. Uh, uh, how are you doing this? So, since I did see that everybody was interested by this kind of cycle of life eh, with the fish, plants, water, eh, I did improve step by step the technology. Already it was in early late, late 70s and already at that time, you know, it was already the petrol crisis in 73, so people were more and more interested by environment. So Uh, step by step, I did meet more friends and they told me, oh, why you have not a patent about that? In my mind, I told you, I did not think to work with architects, but architects came to me because they did see that my work actually became an architectural work in the meaning that the living plants can really be mixed with architecture. So I'm totally convinced that the plants and the human beings have to be in harmony and the human beings have not to work to collect the fruits of the plants. It's the best way is that when you, both for the eyes and for the food, you can collect easily, easily the, the plants. So it's why I think that vertical garden, it's really a good future. Some people try to have a, a high, high tech, high technology, high technology, nothing is high technology with this, everything is simple if you want it to work in the easiest way, simple and not expensive because to have a hose and uh, the, you see to have a felt three millimeter thick, to, the only important thing is to select the right species for the right place. So you see here I'm, uh, I'm happy I discovered this uh, Sasha concept uh, and 
of course, it's a, for me, it's an evident concept <laughs> because uh, to, 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 to improve this relation between people living in one type of environment and the environment itself. So it means how to use in the best way without destroying the environment, either for, for medication, for food, for colors, for materials, for buildings, for everything. You know, when I was born, a little bit long time ago, but not so long time ago, we were only 2.5 billion people in the world. Now we are 8 billion. So it means more than three times since I was born. So it means very different things. So we have, it's impossible otherwise. We have really to, to think a new way of life uh, suddenly. So I think it's very important actually to have the good knowledge of the plants. And it's why the bot bot botanists will be, I think, more and more important, not simply landscapers. Landscapers have a visual attitude, which is really connected to arch architecture. So it's good onto the urbanism, to, to the way, uh, to how to move inside the city. It's important, but at the base, if you want to reintroduce nature, either nature you eat or simply you are you looking for, this is the work of the botanist. I think the big problem is the globally very poor knowledge of the plants. And when I say realizations, especially about vertical gardens, sometimes I say, oh my goodness, why, why they did they use this plant species, which is not at all adapted to this place? And so to, to, to have something living a long time, and which, which become a, a rewarding for, for people, you have to know which are the right plants for the right places.